Hi everyone. Uh, so what we're going to do here is take a look at your final assessment. So your final assessment makes up 30% of your grade and the way we're going to do this is we're going to have uh, three projects, three final projects for you to complete um, and each final project will be worth 10% of your grade. So these projects are worth a little bit more um, and uh, they're going to be structured a little bit differently. Um, when you get your final mark you're not going to have as much feedback as you would normally have um, because the purpose of the final assessment isn't so much for you to learn new things but for you to practice what you've already learned and for you to get a chance to show me uh, what you know. Um, so today we're just going to look at project number one um, and this is going to be called The World Opens Up and it's basically going to involve you writing a narrative paragraph and a descriptive paragraph. Uh, so I put these pictures here to kind of give you an idea of what we're going for in this project. Um, so you're, as we said, you're going to be writing two paragraphs, but have you ever had some kind of experience in your life where the world opens up right in front of you? So what we mean is maybe you're taking some kind of journey, you're, you're doing a long walk down a hallway or through a forest, or um, I don't know if you've ever climbed a mountain necessarily, but maybe walked up uh, a mountain. And then all of a sudden you get to your destination and it's just amazing. The world just opens up in front of you and you see some amazing things. Uh, so two things that come to mind to me um, that demonstrate this is um, this place here, uh, Petra, uh, the treasury in, uh, in Jordan. Um, I've never actually been here. I would really like to go one day. Um, but there is a path that you travel through, this rocky kind of path. And it's really kind of dramatic from what I've been told and you kind of wind your way through it and then all of a sudden you get to the end and you just see this beautiful ancient building here um, right in front of you. This, this treasury built by these Nabataeans many years ago. So that's one example. Um, the other example that I've thought of was from a video game, uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, the beginning of the game kind of does this and so I'm actually going to play for you a video clip um, of the beginning of the game so you can get a better idea of what I mean. Okay, so here we go. We're going to watch this, uh, not the whole thing obviously, it's very long, uh, but we're going to watch this quickly here. Uh, so we can see that this character here is in this cave. It's kind of weird. There's kind of dark around him and now he's going to go up these stairs. So he's going on his journey. You could say what he's doing. So he's climbing up the stairs, then he's going to run through this pool of water, then he's going to have to climb this rock. Uh, so there he goes, gets to the top of the rock, runs outside, and then there we go so the whole world has opened up in front of him I, I remember when I played this game and I first saw that I was just really amazed by this uh, video games have come a very long way from now. okay so back to this assignment here uh, so you can get this idea of there's some kind of journey having to walk somewhere or run somewhere or swim or climb somewhere or something like that and then all of a sudden you get to a place where the world just unfolds in front of you. So in this assignment you're going to have to write two paragraphs um, and they're going to be linked which means that one paragraph blends into the next. Your first paragraph is going to be a narrative paragraph that describes your journey to some sort of beautiful place. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be beautiful, it could be scary, it could be um, kind of just amazing, not necessarily beautiful but maybe futuristic. So, um, but it is you're journeying to some kind of really interesting or different place and then when you get there you're going to write a descriptive paragraph um, about what you arrive when what you see when you arrive right so remember a narrative paragraph tells a story so you're going to tell the story about how you get to the place and then when you get there you're going to describe it with a descriptive paragraph uh, the place could be real it could be fictional choices up to you um, I've given you some to possible topics if you don't know where to begin uh, but feel free to use them or just make up your own topic so you climb a mountain, when you get to the top you see the world unfold beneath you. Uh, so you'll be able to see further down, um, I've created an example for you and this is what I've done in my paragraph. Or you crawl through a dark cave and then find yourself in a beautiful clearing where the roof of the cave has collapsed. Right, so a cave is really dark, um, but then maybe there's a section where the roof fell down and the sunlight shines through and maybe there are even trees or greenery in this section of the cave. Uh, or maybe you see underground in the cave. You can imagine some maybe pictures of caves 
uh, where you have kind of like glistening gems or jewels in there, and you have those stalactites, those rock sort of formation. Well, they're mineral formations that sort of hang down from the top of the cave. Maybe there's an underground river, or maybe you jump off a boat, you swim for a bit. Um, so you just see the boat, and then you feel the water, but then when you look underneath the water, you see gorgeous coral reefs with a bunch of colorful fish. Or, if you want to be sort of more out there, maybe you're on a spaceship and you go to some new planet and there's a heavy, thick atmosphere, you can't see your way to the surface of the planet, but then all of a sudden the ship goes through the atmosphere and the surface of the planet's right in front of you, so you can describe it. Okay, so your task. First thing you're going to have to do is decide um, a topic. So you'll have to think about the narrative paragraph, how that's going to work for your journey, and then your descriptive paragraph at the end of the journey. So you're then going to have to complete an outline for both paragraphs, and this is going to be due on Tuesday, May 28th. Um, so I'm going to give you feedback on this one, because essentially this part here is uh, for me to see if you're on the right track and, for, and to help you. So this is going to be returned to you without a mark. I'm just going to give you feedback, and then you're going to use that to complete your final project, uh, your written version of this, which I will mark. Okay, so this is due Tuesday, May 28th. You'll notice the outline is pretty much the same as any other outline that we've done for narrative paragraphs or descriptive paragraphs. Um, so brainstorm what happened, fill in the details, right? Make sure you go by the correct number of sentences. So you need to have five sentences minimum for your narrative paragraph. And it should be in chronological order, right? Don't tell the story out of order or people will get confused. Then you're going to need to write your descriptive paragraph. And that's, again, a minimum of five sentences. Think about different adjectives and verbs and adverbs that you can use that really bring the place that you are going to describe to life. Um, again, remember that your topic and concluding sentences are not going to have that formal kind of beginning and end that you see in expository paragraphs, like therefore, um, or there are a number of reasons why. You're not going to have that kind of uh, formal um, structure to your topic and concluding sentences. You're going to use them and you're going to have them more flowing sort of naturally as they would if you were telling a story because that's what you're doing you're telling a story okay so once you create your outline and you get some feedback you're then going to have to write both paragraphs which will be due on friday may 29th and so you can see um, i've written two paragraphs here as an example for you the last thing you're going to have to do is create an audio presentation so again this is much like a dramatic reading um, and it's very similar to assignment 11. Feel free to use software like Screencast-O-Matic or something else. Record your voice and submit the file. Or you can present to me on Microsoft Teams. Again, we can arrange a time for you to do that. Um, or if those two options don't work for you, um, then just let me know and we can arrange. Um, I will phone you and you can do your presentation over the phone. Okay, so um, you're going to write your paragraph and then dramatically read it. And I am going to collect three things from you. So I'm going to collect your outline, I'm going to collect your finished product, and I'm also going to either collect your audio file or listen to you read your paragraph. And you should read it in a dramatic style. So I'm going to attempt to read my paragraph, uh, in a, two paragraphs in a dramatic style, um, and also point out to you um, some of the features of this that um, are important. Okay, so if we look at first here, you can see my topic sentence. Um, the summit of the mountain loomed overhead, tantalizingly close. So again, you can see in this topic sentence, we, this introduces what this paragraph is going to be about. So again, it's not formal. We don't see there are three reasons why, blah, 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 blah. We see it's written in a sort of narrative storytelling kind of sense. But it does clearly tell you that this paragraph, okay, there's something going on where the top of a mountain is above somebody, and it's tantalizingly close, which means the person wants to be there. So we can maybe guess that this person is going to be climbing a mountain. Okay, so here we go. The summit of the mountain loomed overhead, tantalizingly close. My body ached as I reached upward for another handhold. I grasped the rocky outcrop and painfully hoisted myself upwards, almost there. The wind whipped around me, sapping my will as it battered. But I would not give up. Not now. I dug my spikes into the rock and pushed upward. Another handhold, then another, then another, relentlessly, mechanically. As the summit inched closer, I began to move faster. The pain faded, the fatigue disappeared. Ten meters to the top, 
8 meters, 4 meters. There. I pulled myself upwards and stood triumphantly on the summit, gazing at the world below me. And what a world it was. The pale blue sky spread endlessly outwards. A few billowing clouds wafted by as a handful of birds circled in the distance. Lush green forest stretched out for miles, like a green carpet. I could see a blue river sparkling near the horizon as the sun reflected off its meandering surface. The wind was still cold and harsh, but it didn't seem to matter right now. I looked down and examined the craggy gray path that would take me back to camp. The pain and fatigue slowly returned as I contemplated the journey ahead. Okay, so that's sort of the style for a dramatic reading. Obviously, I'm not the best at this. Um, this is why I'm not teaching drama. But as long as I can see that you're putting in an effort, you're varying your tone of voice, and you are reacting to the emotion in your story, um, then you will be doing what you need to do uh, for this, this paragraph. Um, as long as you're, again, pacing yourself and pronouncing your words correctly. Okay, so last but not least, we have the marking scheme, which is down here. Okay, so your knowledge mark is going to be, uh, do your paragraphs and outline demonstrate an understanding of the writing process? So is it very clear that you're using your outline to organize your thoughts and then writing your thoughts down on the page? Um, do you understand how to go from an outline to a set of paragraphs? Are your topic and sentence, topic sentence and concluding sentence written in the correct style? So again, don't expect something formal. You'll notice I don't have any therefores or anything like that in here, but they should be written in a way that it tells you what the paragraph's going to be about, and the topic sentence of your second paragraph should link to the first. So notice my second paragraph topic sentence is very simple, and what a world it was. So that links to the top, because um, in the top paragraph it mentions that you see the world below you, and here it's, and what a world it was. So this sets you up nicely to describe the world, right? It's, you're going to have to say, and what a world it was. The person reading it's going to wonder, well, what do you mean? Why do they think this world is amazing? Um, so they're anticipating a description of it. Okay, and then if you remember descriptive paragraphs when we talked about them before, the last sentence here kind of clearly indicates that this part of the story is over, right? That this person is no longer really looking at the world anymore. They're now thinking about going back to their camp, to wherever they set off from um, when they climb the mountain. Okay, so again, it concludes it, but not in that sort of formulaic kind of expository style. Okay, so topic and concluding sentence written in a correct style, and do you have sufficient details to illustrate the narrative and description elements? So in other words, um, are you putting in enough detail to really tell the story? You're thinking. Um, is your paragraph written creatively, and is it organized? So is your narrative chronological, or are you jumping all over the place? Um, is your description organized so people can follow what you're describing, one thing after another? Um, and do your paragraphs link together seamlessly, meaning does one paragraph naturally flow into the next? Your communication mark will be based on the style of your writing, so are you writing in a narrative and descriptive style? But it's also going to be based on your audio presentation, um, how do you pace your speech? How do you pronounce your words? Are you pronouncing the words correctly? Um, I would recommend looking up how to pronounce a word if you're not sure how, or just ask me. Um, do you have emotion and drama in your voice? Do you speak clearly? Um, and is your style written for your audience? Right, so you're writing a story, so it should be written in a way to um, grab your audience, and it should kind of tell your audience something. So for example, you'll notice that the way that I wrote that paragraph, I used a lot of short sentences, really focusing on the fact that the person really wants to get to the top of the mountain. Um, and so that was written for that purpose, right? I was trying to convey that sort of focus through my writing, through my style. And then finally, application, same as usual, spelling, grammar, sentence structure. Okay, so that's pretty much all I've got to say. Um, you'll, you can see your due dates online. Uh, I am going to be posting times when you can um, make an appointment with me to conference, um, but you can also find me on Microsoft Teams and usually, again, I'm, I'm there most of the time. If I'm not going to be there for a while, I will post on Google Classroom and let you know. Uh, but that's basically it. Okay, so again, remember, three main things, outline, two paragraphs, and then an uh, audio presentation. All right, that's it. Thank you.